So this is part three. So this one we're going to look at how do I actually, instead of just sending um, the dice number, how do I actually send it to the template? So first thing we do is we actually create a new template, so a new HTML file, or I can put a new file, and I'm going to call this dice.html. So if I create dice.html and send it on, um, I'm just going to grab my this, copy and paste it into there, and we will change this to dice. Um, the other change is I am actually going to put a link to um, my dice page. So I'll do a line break, and then I'm going to go a a href equals, and the the route to my dice is slash dice. So that's my link. And then I'm going to go roll a dice, and that will take me to my homepage. So I'm also going to just put pipe, and then I'm going to say a href equals slash slash, and then I'm going to say home. So that's my little navigation bar. So on my dice page, I'm actually going to work, change a few things. I'm going to put that in there. This is my random dice. I'm using the same style sheet and roll dice. So if I click dice, it's going to display. Now I need to put the dice variable in here. So I'm going to actually use the double script in brackets and I'm going to use a variable called dice. Now I have to pass the data from Python into this page and I use the variable dice. So in my main.py, I instead of saying uh, return numbers, we're going to say ret return render template and it's dice.html. So I'm just going to quickly, oh, actually, I'll just go to that. So I'm going to return render template dice.html and I need to have a closing one. Um, dice.html, I'm actually going to just get rid of that for now and just show that this works. So load this, I go back to my browser and back to my home page, reload that, that's my home page. I've got home, which works, roll the dice and random dice. So that takes me there, that takes me there. So I've got a little bit of navigation for me. So roll a dice, I need to actually display the dice. So you can see it changes the URL. So I need to display the dice result. So and I did say that I'm going to roll a dice and use this dice variable. So in Python. So I've got my dice route, I've got my dice, and I'm going to say um, roll dice roll equals random choice and dice. So I've got this variable dice roll which will equal let's see what it equals. Uh, let's just make sure it's working. So lots of little testing. So restart my server and I'm going to go over here, dice page. And nothing's happening there, but you can see that when I reload it, it prints to this console here. So that's a way of debugging. Um, so in your production, you don't want to print here unless it's a error message. But I want to pass this variable to my page. So I say, remember, I'm using the dice variable. So dice equals dice. And so I should be able to say dice equals dice. Right. So I restart my web server, go to here, and it says, oh, dice. Oh, roll dice. So it equals this variable. I actually sent it this entire function, which says it's a function roll dice. So that was one mistake. So I'm going to reload the server, reload this, and you can see dice roll, and it changes. So I'm going to just quickly, um, I want to put a line break there. A um, couple of things. So I'm 
passing just a single variable. I can pass the entire list. So, um, for example, I can. Um, I'm actually going to change my variable to a little bit. Dice and dice roll. So I'm actually going to pass my dice here and I'm going to print them. Um, and then I'm going to pass the dice roll. So in here, I've got dice and dice roll. So dice equals dice, dice roll equals dice roll. So I'm just passing both variables. Restart my observer and I've got the list and the roll of dice. I can actually print the list individually and I can actually um, I can actually yeah, I'll print the list individually instead of one at a time. So, back in here. so instead of printing all of those, I can say something like, I'm going to use squiggly bracket and percent, and percent and squiggly bracket. So that and that's a programming statement, and I say for each dice in dice. Well, it's a die, isn't it? Each die in dice. And then I need to end the for loop. So I can always begin and end the for loop. So for each die in die, I'm going to use the die out and I'm going to play one break. So this should print down the screen one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's look at that. Restart the web server, so go here, into the analyzer, in. For, oh, for each, for die in dice. Sorry, I don't say for each. It's not programming language, that's me pseudocoding. One, two, three, four, five, six, roll a dice five. Um, so we can do lists, we can do four statements. We can we can do lots and lots of things. Like we can say, like so I've got dice, and I can say if die is equal to I'm going to say 4, just be a random one. If die is equal to 4, then I need to end if, so just do end if. If die is equal to 4, we're going to say wow. And then say, we're going to say wow. Um, and we're actually going to put the break after the entire thing. So let's have a look at what that does. Is this going to work? Wow! We rolled a four. So we can actually start to do some logic here if we want to. Um, we could... Well, actually, no, we'll leave that at that. So, um, so what I've actually shown you is how to load some dice in. So in my anger, PY, I've created a random choice, done all this, dice roll. Next video, we're going to show you how to actually load an image set in and how to, on this one, instead of just saying the dice number, we're actually going to have a number between, what we're actually going to show a dice. Um, let's have a look at how we do that in the next video.